so this is an introductory video on roof trusses so basically roof trusses are the topmost part of a pitch roof building they are the topmost part of a pitch roof building and their function is to support the roof coverings the roof coverings are provided to protect the building from different different weathering effect effects such as sunlight rain snowfall etc and the function of the roof trusses is to support the roof coverings so basically there are different types of roof trusses number 1 is king post and number 2 is queen post and number 3 is steel roof trusses number 1 and 2 are wooden roof trusses and number 3 is of course as the name suggests it is made out of steel which is the most widely used truss nowadays it is more popular than the king post or queen post so king post is a wooden roof truss and it is used when the span is between 5 to 9 meters and what is the span what is span span is nothing but the distance between two supports suppose uh, we have to provide a truss for a uh, room of 5 meter by 6 meter then the least dimension is 5 meter so the the span of the room will be 5 meter so uh, king post is used when span is between 5 to 9 meters and queen post is used when the span is bigger between 9 to 14 meters so for smaller spans we use queen king post and for larger spans we use queen post and when do we use steel roof trusses we use steel trusses when the span is even larger than this the span is even larger than this and the members when the members of the king post or queen post becomes very big then it is not very economical to go for a king post or queen post queen post trusses so in order to avoid those difficulties we go for steel roof trusses the members of the steel roof truss are very small compared to the king post or queen post and they can uh, be used when whenever the span is very big so that's why nowadays steel roof trusses are much more widely used than the king post or queen post this is a structural drawing which shows the different members of a king post roof truss as you can see the span is 6 meter the distance between the two supports or the the distance between the two walls is 6 meter and we are using king post here see what are the different members if you consider this as a triangle then the central vertical member is called king post the base of the triangle is called thigh beam the two inclined members the two principal inclined members which are making a 30 degree angle with the horizontal or which are making a 30 degree angle with the thigh beam are called principal rafters okay the two inclined members which are making uh, 30 degree with the horizontal and they are attached with the king post they are called struts and if you look at the table it says compression members principal rafter and strut that means principal rafter and strut these are the two members which handle the compressive forces and thigh beam and king post are the members which ha uh, handle the tensile forces okay so this is the drawing or the fi figure of uh, king post which you will have to draw as you can see the sizes of the different members are given here the span is also given as 8 meters and the sizes of each and every member are given here as you can see the size of the king post if you look at the, the drawing carefully the size of the king post is given as 15 cm by 15 cm that means the breadth of the king post the breadth you are seeing in this drawing is 15 cm and inside also towards the inside also the thickness of the king post is also 15 cm okay the length of, uh, the size of the principal rafter you can see the size of the principal rafter is given as 15 cm by 15 cm 
So the dimension you are seeing here is 15 centimeter and inside also towards the inside also. This is only a two dimensional drawing you are seeing. Basically, it's a three dimensional thing. So the breadth uh, of the principal alpha that you are seeing in this drawing is 15 centimeter and towards the inside also the dimension is 15 centimeter. The tie beam, you can see, see your confusions are going to be clear from this. The size of the tie beam you can see it is given as 28 centimeter by 15 centimeter. And in the drawing, which dimension you are seeing? The dimension you are seeing in the drawing is 28 centimeter. But the size of the tie beam is 28 by 15. So which is 15? 15 is inside. Inside thickness of the tie beam is 15 centimeter. And the front breadth that you are seeing in this drawing is 28 centimeter. Okay. So in this way, uh, after uh, observing the sizes of each and every member, you will have to draw this figure. And now this is the structural drawing of uh, queen post truss. Uh, so as you can see in the king post truss there was only one central vertical member and uh, in this queen post there are two primary vertical members which are called queen posts. There are two uh, horizontal members between the queen posts, one at the top and one at the bottom. The top one is called straining beam, the bottom one is called tie beam. The, um, the principal inclined members which are making 30 degree angle with the horizontal just like the earlier case are called principal rafters. The primary and, um, horizontal member that means the base of the triangle is called again the tie beam. So uh, there are two struts also just like the earlier case. So here you can see the, uh, the span, the distance between the supports or the distance between the two walls is 11 meters. So in case of uh, the queen post, they are used when the span is more. In the table you can see the tension members are called tie beam and queen post. And the compression members are principal rafter, strap, straining beam and straining seal. So these are the members which handle the compressive forces and tie beam are the queen post the responsibility of tie beam and queen post are to handle the tensile forces okay so this is the basic uh, structural drawing which shows the different members of the uh, queen post truss and this is the actual drawing of the queen post truss which you will have to draw Here you can see the size of the queen post. I mentioned here as 18 by 15. The dimension that you are seeing here is 18 and inside it is 15 in centimeter. The size of the strut is 10 by 15. The size of the principal after is 18 by 15. The size of the tie beam is 15 by 28. The dimension that you are seeing is the bigger one, 28, inside it is 15. The thickness of the walls are also given here, it is 50, 50 centimeter. Here you can see 50 centimeter is the thickness of the wall. Here in this drawing, the roof coverings are given as tiles, allowed. But nowadays these things are not used, actually we use CVR sheets or ZR sheets. So all you need to do is you don't need to draw the roof uh, boarding or roof covering. Only you need to draw up to the common after all. Only up to, the, up to this part you will have to draw. The roof coverings you don't need to draw. Okay. Now let us come to steel roof trusses. This is a steel truss for a comparatively smaller span. The span is given here as 6 meters as you can see. The different members, as you can see, are joined together by rivet connections. They are bolted together by means of a plate. As you can see, these members are joint B. Consider the joint B. There is the main tie and there are two inclined members. So ultimately there are three members at the joint B which are being connected together by one plate. 
and that plate is called gusset plate. As you can see, there is written here six millimeter thick gusset. So all the three members at joint B are connected by means of this plate, and they are riveted together. That means they are bolted together. Ah, they are joined by nuts and bolts. And they are connected and they are being held together by this one plate and on this one plate they are uh, being joined by use of nuts and bolts this is one uh, the diagram of a steel roof truss for a comparatively larger span you can see the span is given here as 12 meter almost double uh, than the earlier case so you can see the size of the different members are given here the basic horizontal the primary horizontal member is known as thigh it is 50 by 8 millimeter flat that means flat means it's a flat metal section okay there's only the breadth and length and thickness thickness is 8 millimeter and the dimension that we are seeing in this drawing the thickness the breadth that we are seeing in this drawing is 50 and the thickness inside is only 8 mm. Okay. The suspender, the central vertical member is given as, the size is given as 50 by 50 by 6 mm. That means it is an L section, L, the letter L. I will make a separate video on uh, this uh, steel roof trusses to make you understand properly. So right now this, this is just an introductory video. So suspender is 50 by 50 by 6. That means the dimension that we are seeing here is 50. Inside it is also 50. And the thickness, the letter L. You imagine the letter L. And uh, one side of the L is 50. The other side of the L is also 50. And the thickness of the L is 8 millimeter. Oh, sorry, 6 millimeter. Just like the earlier case, the different members are jo being joined together by means of gusset plates. As you can see in the, the joint D, there are four, one, two, three, four, four members are being joined together by means of a plate. And in, the, in that plate, the four different members are being joined by use of nuts and bolts. They are riveted together. Okay, so we'll make a separate video on these um, steel roof trusses to make you understand properly. So basically, this was the introduction on roof trusses. Okay.